We, the jury, find George Zimmerman not guilty. So say we all four person. Does either side want to pull the jury? I don't understand why people are acting so surprised that this guy was found not guilty. If you if you go back and look at, I think it was pictures or videos or in the story, the police officers didn't even want to arrest this guy after he just shot Trayvon Martin. He's standing around talking to the cops with his hands free. Now my prayers go out to the Trayvon Martin family. If this was two white guys, two white guys, right? This story would not be at this magnitude. Let's be honest. If this was two black guys, this story would not be at this magnitude. Let's be honest. Let's be honest here. The only reason it is at this magnitude because George Zimmerman, I think he's Hispanic, but he looks white. Trayvon Martin, the 17-year-old boy that uh, this man shot, he's black. My heart and my prayers go out to their family. This guy got found not guilty. He about to walk free. But the truth is, let's play this honest game again. 500 kids killed over the summer in Chicago. Not all of those kids were gangbangers. Black people is the only race I know that kill each other the most, rob each other the most, hate on each other the most. Innocent black people are killed all the time. It's black on black crime. Nobody escalates it to this magnitude. People only want to start marching when it's white on black crime. And this guy's not even white. He looks white. That's why. Y'all probably thought that I was going to yell about this story and uh, be belligerent and be angry like everybody else. No. You got to be smart. All right. Why every time y'all only come together is when somebody get murdered by the opposite race. But then y'all disperse and y'all back to killing each other. Y'all back to hurting each other. Y'all back to hating on each other. So much hate in the black community. Know where your kids is at. A lot of black people don't know that you can purchase a rifle at 18 and purchase a firearm at 21. You can start carrying guns legally, get a CCW, concealed carry, permit. You gotta unify, come together, get smart. It's a lot of black people out here right now that's getting harassed. You know how many times I didn't walk down the street and police pulling me over? I'm not even in the damn car. They pulling me over like, where you going? Where you heading? What's your name? You got ID? I'm like, what I need ID for? I'm not operating a motor vehicle. Don't get mad, get smart. Start carrying cameras, get a degree in criminal justice, become a lawyer, become a judge. I ain't know much about the, the jury. I can probably bet that the majority of the jurors were probably Caucasian. They need to have four Caucasians, four African Americans, and four Hispanics. They need to diversify because if, it's, if the majority is white, you already know what the outcome's gonna be. White people are precious to America. If a little white girl get uh, kidnapped, she's gonna make the national news. She gonna be on CNN. A little black girl, black people get shot, they might make the local news. As humans, we are violent creatures. We violent and we hypocritical. We contradict ourselves every chance we get. Everybody want to act in revenge. People giving out George Zimmerman address, talking about let let the purge begin. I mean, you know, you know, I would like the purge. You know, what I'm saying if they had the purge. I got a few. I got a few people that they were talking some things back in high school that I want to go pay a visit to. But they giving out his address and they want to. They want to. Revenge. Everybody wanted to revenge. Because we, you know, we are just violent creatures. We violent. It's the same uh, with the Jody Arias case. If y'all ain't followed that case, this girl killed her boyfriend, slaughtered him in the shower, murdered him. What they tell you, they say murder is bad. Thou shall not murder. No, don't ever kill nobody. It's illegal. Don't kill nobody. It's illegal. So when she killed Travis Alexander, they said you was bad. You, you, that was a heinous crime. You killed this man. So you know what we're going to do to you? We gonna kill you. Show them that murder is bad. You give her the death penalty. Thou should not murder. You should never be able to murder somebody. Uh, kill her. If you want her dead, what makes you any different than what she did to her boyfriend? If the movie The Purge happened in real life, it'll be people that you, you wouldn't even expect to be involved in The Purge. Like grandmas. People baking cookies down the street. Old lady. And I hope this guy don't go back to a neighborhood watch because he's not good at it. You're not good. You take your job too serious, George. You take your, you take your job too serious. Alright? Is this guy guilty? If he approached Trayvon Martin, absolutely. Period. I don't care what you, I don't care if he got beat up. I don't care if he approached him and Trayvon hit him first and was on top of him. If you up, that's all I need to know. 
That's all I need to know. Hopefully, the legal system, justice system, uh, change, and people start uh, presenting more evidence. So people that people that think that they are guilty actually get actually found guilty. Praise go out to Trayvon Martin family, and um, it's a tragic, man. It's a tragic thing to see see somebody lose their kid, you know. And uh, my prayers go out to them. My heart go out to them. 